Alrighty, today I am out front of the Minot Public Library here to get my library card. Way back that way is Broadway, if that gives you any idea of like where we're at. And 6th Street Southwest is over there. I got my library card. In order to get the card, I had to show my photo ID and I also had to show proof of my address. So they said if I had a piece of mail with my address on it that matched up with my name, that would work. I don't have any of that yet. So I um, pulled up my residence portal and showed them my lease. I also had to fill out this document that said how I would prefer communication preferences. So email versus text message. I also had to put like my mom's contact information on there. I don't know why. Um, they said it needs to be someone who knows your forwarding address who doesn't currently live with you. So I put my mom's information. And then there's a list of a couple of rules that says like, I will pay fines, I will return stuff, etc. You sign that and you get your library card. It took about five minutes. So the children's library is typically on the bottom floor, but it is closed right now because they're gonna do um, updates to it. And then here is the second floor. So I looked in the brand new, brand new books they got in the last six months. They said it's not necessarily published in the last six months, but what they've received in the past six months. I looked there, I looked in the young adult section and then in just general fiction. That was when I was upstairs and it was the aisles were very close together. I've never, I've only felt really claustrophobic and panicky once in my life. And this is the second time that I've ever felt that. So I will personally be paying attention to that when I go. First time you go, you're able to check out three books. So of course I had to get a spy book, Greek mythology, and then just a book I had seen in Target and have been wanting to read. After your first time, you can check out 50 items at a time. There are limitations on audiobooks and video games and DVDs. I think she said there's a limit of eight at a time. And then they also have board games, which I believe there was a limit on as well. But that's how you set up your library card. Hello again. Today I am getting Pebbles City license, her dog license. On the website, I'll put the information here. There are three different places you can go to pick up the dog license. Um, unlike the last place I lived, you cannot just file an application online and have them mail it to you. You have to physically go to a location. So I went to the one closest to me in North Hill, which is Pinkerton Animal Hospital. It is on the corner of basically the frontage road and Broadway and 21st Street. So it is right across the street from Qdoba. So here's the hospital. And then there's Qdoba. All right, it is 10 to 15 minutes later. Walked out with my tag for my dog. It has her license. Rabies vaccine animal license. Interesting, so here in Minot, um, they only count rabies vaccines as good for two years. Typically rabies vaccines at first are given as a one year for the dog's first year of life and then they're good for three years after that, like the ones they give them subsequently. And so even though Pebbles has a three-year vaccine that won't expire until 2026, um, in my not, they want them to get them every two years. So her, her new date of vaccine expiration is 2025. Um, and they said that basically she'll get in trouble if she gets like picked up by the pound or animal control or anything like that. They'll say, hey, she's overdue for rabies. Um, so even though Anywhere else, I think she would be just fine. I guess here in Minot, they have that specific rule. So going off of that, the license is good for as long as the dog's rabies vaccine is good for. So Pebbles rabies vaccine and her um, dog license for Minot both expire now in January, 2025. It's about a year, less than a year and a half away from now. The cost was $5.40. Um, the only information they needed was they asked me if she was spayed. I said yes, they didn't ask to see any paperwork for that. And then they asked to see her last rabies vaccination, um, which I, I brought her rabies certificate. And that's when they told me about this. Okay, even though it's technically good till 2026, here in Minot will only count as good till 2025. I did ask if it would be okay for my dog to get the vaccine a year early. 
Um, and they said, yes, it won't like impact her. It's not gonna have like a negative effect on her to get the vaccine early. So I guess we will plan to just renew in 2025. I did not need her other vaccination information to get her license. However, I know that this vaccination information is typically required when you take your dog to the groomers or to a doggy daycare um, or boarding or things like that. So I'll continue to just take that with me whenever I go places. I hope you enjoyed this video of me getting my library card and my dog's animal license. Um, next up, I have to get my new like driver's license and plates and all of that. I think that's going to be its own video and I am waiting to get that until I have my first like pay subs that I can print out and everything just because it, they require more documentation than these other two things did. All right, if you found this helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know if you have any pets down in the comments below. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Keep dreaming out loud. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.